Hello, in this video I am going to demonstrate you how to install SAP GUI for Mac operating system. So for that first of all you will require a SAP GUI download link that has been either provided to you by SAP server access provider, your company or your training institute. So we have to go to the Google Chrome and we have to paste the download link whichever has been provided to you in my case that has been provided to me is sapgi.wabli.com so i'm going to the link you will see that it has two types of sap gui for one for the mac gui and another for the window gui so as i have been required to install in mac operating system i have to download mac gui so click on it go to the download and download anyway it's a 156 MB of file which will take time according to your internet speed so I'm going to pause it and continue when my download has been completed So now you have been seen that my download has almost been completed. So for after download we go to the next step that is the download of Java for the Mac operating system. So we have to go to the Google and write download Java SE for Mac. Now go to the very first link that has been oracle.com that is the official website to download the java software so you will see that is java 19 and java 17 available so we download the latest one that is the java se development kit 19.0.1 and i have to download it for the mac operating system so i click on mac os and depend on your system processor you can download either for arm64 or in x64 so i have it into 64 so i have to download it for uh, x64 tmg installation file so click on it it's a 176 mb of file and it take time depend on your internet speed so i'm going to again skip it and continue when my download has been completed So as my download has complete, now go to the scroll down and now we have to download another Java version that is required that is Java SE development kit 18.351. So I have to download it for the Mac operating system. So you have seen it has been Linux, Mac operating system, Solrez or Windows so I click on Mac operating system it's a 203 MB of file and I have to click on it you have seen a lock button this uh, before it I have to accept the license agreement and click on download so my download has been stated started but if you are going to uh, going to this site at the first time so it will ask you for the login of your Oracle account so you have to going to register it with your Gmail ID and create a Oracle your Oracle account that is free of cost and then verify it with your Gmail and again sign in and you are able to download it as I have already signed in so I am able to download it so I am going to again skip it and continue on download so you have been seen my download has been completed I have all three files now I have to minimize it close it minimize my google chrome window and go to my download folder now open downloads so my all three files are there so first i have to install the gdk19 mac operating system into 64 double click on it now double click again continue install enter your password system password 
to install software and your first step has been complete you have installed the gdk 19.01 file so next i have to install my gdk 8351 file double click on it double click continue and install it again enter my system password install software so my both java file has been now installed so now it's the time to install the sap gui without these files you are not able to install the sap gui file close it now i zip file i have to extract it with automatic mac extractor or chip utility so i have come with the folder i have click it double click it go to the next press to folder gui java so i have seen that it has for three four files one is for linux other for mac operating system windows and one is manual so i have been required for mac operating system i have double click it so you will see it will give some error that it unidentified developers so what is the trick the trick is you have to rename it so i am what renaming i have to change the extension that is in capital j a r to the small j a r changing the extension enter now you see it will begin installation installing so i have to enter my system password and okay so i have to provide permission now as it's a third party software so i have go to the system preferences go to security and privacy then general tab and you will see that it will say allow app download from the unidentified source i have to say open anyway so it just starts open and now you will see that your sap frontend sap gui has been started installation has been started so you have to go to the next next install and you have successfully installed sap gui for the mac operating system now i will tell you how to create the connections in your sap gui system sap gui you have just been installed go to the launch pad you will see sap client folder there so you have to click on single click on it and you will go to sap gui double click on it so your yeah, sap gui has been started so i have already tested the environment so uh, one connection is there so i am going to delete it first so you will see this screen on installation this screen is available to you now you have to create a new connection create on new write the description whatever the connection description is like ico mm or whatever that has been provided to you by company or server provider or your education institute it is just for your remembrance i have write sap access go to the advanced tab expert mode has been checked out and write the connection details that has been provided to you front slash capital h front slash then the uh, application server id that has been provided to you for me that is this is 46.166.167.232 then front slash ash front slash 3200 only the changes is the application server ip that has been provided to you so i am going to now save it so you will see that connection has been created so i am going to double click it 
it is connecting to my SAP software. So now I have been connecting to the SAP software. Okay, maximize it. Now you require the credential to enter into the SAP system. I use my credential provided to me. And you are able to access the SAP software. So that is all how you can access the SAP Joy on Mac and you can do whatever the training you have to be done or whatever work you have to be do. So if you have any further queries, you can write it on the comment box or you can contact me on the details provided at the description. Thank you.